Good morning. We're going to take a look at Psalm chapter 7 this morning. But before we do that, let's lift up this day to God by worshiping Him through music. Amen. 
Okay, we turn this morning to another Psalm of David in chapter 7. And as at other times in the book of Psalms, David feels attacked okay, from all directions. And so he turns to God for help. Let's read verses 1 and 2. O Lord, my God, in you do I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and deliver me. Lest like a lion they tear my soul apart, rending it in pieces with none to deliver. You know, God as our refuge is a common theme, especially in the book of Psalms. David employed it every time he felt he was in danger. He ran to God for protection. In the common Hebrew language, the word refuge meant a shelter, taking shelter from... Um, from bad weather, basically. So it's it's uh, f finding covering on, under stormy under stormy weather. It's a safe place, basically. And the picture that comes to my mind is I don't know if you notice this when you're driving and then there's a sudden downpour. How guys on motorbikes all of a sudden they crowd underneath the walkway, sheltering themselves from the rain. That's what the word refuge is about. But when we use the word refuge in reference to God, it takes on a whole nother meaning. It means entrusting our lives to the care and the protection of God, especially when things are uncertain, when we feel like we're in the midst of danger, or when there's people opposing us or persecuting us, we run to God for His care and protection. It really is trusting in the ability of God to care for us and to protect for, and to protect us. And so it's the faith, it's having faith that says the Lord is strong and He is good and He will take care of me and my family. You know, uh, a, a practical expression of this in the Old Testament was how in the Mosaic Law, there was a provision for cities of refuge. And what they were, were I think there were six of them. They were literally cities um, led by priests, where if somebody uh, was uh, accused of involuntary manslaughter, they were to run to a city of refuge. And for so long as they are in, in the city of refuge, they would be safe. Uh, they would be uh, protected from any acts of vengeance by the offended party or so. But once they leave the city of refuge, then they're, they're taking their life into their own hands. But as long as they stay there until the date of the trial, their, their, their protection was guaranteed. In other words, again, refuge means safety and protection. And what's interesting in this psalm was that David brought his case before God as judge. David asked God to judge between him and his enemies. When he ran to God for protection, Lord, judge between me and my enemies. Okay, verse, verses 10 to 11. My shield is with God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge and a God who feels indignation every day. Now, David is a fascinating character because he was so complex. I mean, on one hand, David was uh, a man after God's own heart, a worshiper, uh, somebody who did everything God told him to do. But on the other hand, David was guilty of adultery and murder and bloodshed. And so, and yet, despite the complexity of David's life, the darkness and the light, David had the audacity to go to God, judge between me and my enemies. And what complicates this even more is that this particular psalm, Psalm 7, we really don't know when this happened in David's life. Um, scholars are torn. They cannot, uh, and there's a reference to Cush the Benjamite, but who knows who Cush the Benjamite was? He never appears in Scripture. And so some scholars believe this was early in David's ministry when, when Saul was chasing him. 
And when David was a young leader, not yet the king, and you know, very worshipful, he had this harp, man after God's own heart, obedient. But then some scholars say, actually, this happened when Absalom rebelled against David. So this was late in David's life. He was already the king. Uh, again, he, had, he was already guilty of adultery and murder, and he was a terrible, terrible father. And so, which David had the audacity and faith to run to God and ask for refuge? Was it young, obedient David? Or was it old, sinner David? You know what the answer is? Both. God is our refuge, whether we are walking with God faithfully every day or whether we have stumbled and fallen and made mistakes in our walk with God. See, when we walk faithfully with God and encounter opposition or persecution or danger as a result of our testimony and obedience to God, God is there to deliver us and to protect us and trust your life and your family to Him. But even when we have failed Him, maybe even stopped following Him and maybe brought trouble, a heap of trouble on ourselves of our own doing because of the bad decisions we've made in life, we can turn back to Him in repentance and he will receive us in grace and forgiveness and trust your life and your family to him whatever your situation in life is right now go to God trust him he is our refuge and our strength he is our safety and our protection in times of uncertainty and danger. He is our hope and He will always be our deliverer. Why don't we praise God once again this morning by worshiping Him through music. Lord, my heart cries out for you. And as I wait, I know Oh, yo. 
Just before you go, allow me to speak a word of blessing over your lives. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Have a wonderful Christ-filled day today. And see you all again tomorrow.